There's just too much information in these. So now moving on to your physical exam portion. Okay. Where are you feeling the pain again, if you don't mind me asking? So it's just like on my shin, like kind of on the inside. Okay, is it both the right and left shin? It's just the right. Okay. And if you don't mind tilting your camera down for me, just want to look at the, the affected area, see what's going on. Okay, uh, I'm going to have to put it on the floor. Totally if that's fine. okay. Whatever makes it work. There you go. Is that better? Does that work? It works right now. Yes. This is, um, a, this is my. Um, do you see any noticeable swelling from the right to the left shin or does it look pretty normal? It looks pretty normal. It doesn't okay, no like, there's no bruising. Ah. No, no. Thank you for answering that question. Mm -hmm. And if you take, well, if you just take your hands in general, here, let me, let me tilt this too. Ooh, taking your thumbs and just kind of wiggling your way down the front of your shin, going down okay. from like the bottom of your knee to probably the top of your ankle-ish. Does anything hurt, particularly when you Ooh. poke? Ooh, right there? Yeah, like like right there, down to like right here-ish, like kind of like this area. All right, so it looks like three to four inches of irritated area. Yeah. Perfect, okay. So I'm gonna have you do a couple movements. I'm gonna move this bad boy down. All right. So I'm just gonna have you straighten out your right knee, okay? So just, oh God, you can't even see me, I'm sorry. So straight out and then bring it back to a 90 degree angle. So like out here. Mm -hmm. back down. Perfect, do you have any pain or discomfort? No, not really. All right, and now I'm gonna have you do sort of the same thing with your ankle. So this is a horrible angle. We're gonna try our best here. So I just want you to bring your, basically your toes to your nose with. Okay. And do you feel any discomfort doing that? A, a little bit, yeah. Okay, in the same spot it's you not pointed like out too earlier? Bad. Yeah, okay. yeah, in that same spot. And then if you point your toe as hard as you can, do you have any discomfort with that? Yeah, a little bit. Is it still in that same spot or does it seem to be like the pain is traveling or anything? Uh, like a little bit in there, a little bit like in my, my calf. Okay, can you pinpoint a specific spot in your calf that is a little irritated by that or is it just kind of everywhere? It, it's just kind of like, it feels like it's just tight. It feels like it's tight. Okay. So Probably it feels like fun. it's stretching when I'm okay. po pointing it down. To and if you don't mind, just you can stand up where you are right now. I just want to look at your leg for a hot second while you're standing instead of just sitting. Beautiful. All right. And if you have any space in the room you're in, do you mind just taking a few steps for me? Oh, there. Perfect. A nice runway. Mm -hmm. All right. You can just bring it on back. All right, awesome. So that's all I'm gonna need for you for the walking part. So you can go ahead and sit back down. Okay. And do you have any um, numbness or tingling from the knee down on the mm. leg? No, not really. Okay, and when you were palpating the front of your shin, could you feel where your thumbs were and you knew um, kind of like the sensation you had? Yeah, yeah, I could feel it. All right, so no odd spots where you can't feel anything. No. Okay. So we can bring you up off the floor now. <laughs> okay. Just to talk about some options moving forward. Mm -hmm. So what I'm thinking is slightly overuse. So we can work with that. There's no swelling, no bruising. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So what we're going to plan on doing here is working on your stretching, compression, things like that. So we can stretch out your calf, as you mentioned, is a really tight. Doing the same thing on the front of your shin area and also working on the strength in your knee and your uh, ankle because sometimes things that happen in one part can affect another part of the leg or the body okay so yeah. we're gonna work with that and also just controlling your symptoms making sure you're not feeling a 10 out of 10 on pain so do you think it's uh shin splints that's what my coach was thinking it is a high probability 
but I still want to look into it a little bit more just because we're not in okay. person. So once we get yeah. back um, to the classroom or in school, I would like to do it again. And since you are going to probably be training <laughs> a little bit, um, if anything gets way out of hand, let me know. Send me an email, shoot me a text, whichever. Okay. I can do that. Beautiful.